Today is a sad day for this nation. For Azumbi is going to be sworn in as the deputy president. Azumbi. I said Azumbi. Kiture Kindiki, right turn. Yes, sir. Kiture Kindiki, left turn. Yes, sir. Kiture Kindiki, about turn. Yes, sir. Zumbi, I speak as an apostle. I speak as a prophet. If anybody has something contrary, come, let's compare in the presence of God, not in the wisdom of man. Let's compare in the spirit. Time is before us. It will tell. Did I say it here? Before Ruto became, didn't I say it here? Everything I said have happened. Those who are insulting me, continue insulting me. You cannot compare flesh with spirit. When you are partying, I'm praying. When you are eating, I'm fasting. Then you want us to be the same. Never ever. God is not respecter of persons. Much as Gashagwa had his own, this and that, but he also had his brain. He had the standard. This zombie, <laughs> no standard. I'll search him in the spirit. I did not find it. Whether Kithur Kindiki will bring significant changes to Kenya and alleviate the suffering of its people is a complex issue with no straightforward answer. Various factors will influence the outcome, but many Kenyans think that Ruto is an authoritarian and he doesn't want anybody who can correct him. He wants a yes sir DP, who can't even advise him because he is all-knowing, president and all he thinks is correct to do, even if it is affecting Kenyans negatively. He moves forward to do it, like Finance Bill 2024. You can't say he wasn't aware that Kenyans were complaining. Many say Kither Kindiki will be watching and implementing all what he will be told. And watch, Ruto and his allies do whatever they want. Surely nothing will change. Kenyans will continue suffering. On this video, we are going to dive deeper and analyze if Kithur Kindiki will change Kenyan's situation, or it will even worsen. <laughs> Leo Kindiki amekuwa mzuri anayekuwa kuwa vice president ah. ni mchezo ama si mchezo Kituri Kindiki eh. enda riwo watu watu wakuwe kitu kimoja na watu wakuwe na umoja na watu wapendane vile Kenya tulipendana Kenya tulikuwa na amani na umoja na upendo Kindiki tunampea congratulations kwa sababu amekuwa one of the best uh, performing CS kwa serikali lakini pia tunaomba bwana Kindiki asikuwa anatumua kama puppet a, a, kama ni mambo ya shareholding ajua kwamba Mount Kenya i devote 47% kwa hiyo serikali ya Kenya kwanza Kajao ametolewa kwa kuongea maneno ya Mlima Kenya yeye pia anatoka pale pale Mlima Kenya aweze kutembea Kenya yote na vile ahakikishe kuwa ameunganisha wa Kenya wote Kendeke amejulikana dunia mzima Kenya mzima kwamba ni mw, kiongozi mwenye ana ukabila kiongozi mwenye achagui kiongozi mwenye anajua imu yake ni kumekishwa Kenya yetu imeenda mali inatakana kwenda sawa ni sababu kwamba alikuwa ameanza kutoa siri ya kiserikali na kupitana na rais ndio sababu asa aneleta hii shida na ameteua mwingine mimi naweza sema kwamba uh, tunaomba kwamba watufanyie kazi sababu hakuna mtu mzuri hata uh, huyo mwenye amechaguliwa pia ni mwanadamu lakini tunaomba kwamba Kenya tuweze kufanywa kazi nzuri ndipo wananchi tukaweze kuridhika before we can get deeper please subscribe to our channel like this video and turn on notifications. Leave a comment. Will Kindiki improve Kenya Kwanzaa administration? Now, guys, let's get deeper. Whether Kindiki will perform better than Gachagwa in the government will depend on the following facts. Policy and implementation. Kindiki's policies and their effective implementation will play a crucial role. As a DP, he has a wide range of responsibilities, including security, law enforcement, immigration, and border control. His ability to develop and implement effective strategies in these areas will impact the well-being of Kenyans. Economic policies. The government's economic policies can significantly affect the lives of citizens. Kindiki is not directly responsible for economic policy, but his support for or opposition to certain policies could influence the outcome. Serikali ilikuwa inajua ya kwamba imekosea watoto wetu wa university okay. kwa sababu ya hii university mbote. funding model ya yeah. lazima wangeleta kitu ili watoto watulie okay. kwanza mm. na wameleta hii impeachment mm. na by the way they are succeeding mm. kwa sababu kila mtu ukienda kwa kila boma mm. unapata mtu wako kwa TV akiangalia maneno ya wakili mm. na rigiji mm. na impeachment mm. they have succeeded yeah. 
na hii impeachment ya ligadha ikiisha mm. sio ya, ya, kusema ya kwamba barabara ambao hazikuwa zimebalizika zitamalizwa mm. si kusema ya kwamba ile majani chai bo, bovu ilikuwa mm. ita improve mm -hmm. si kusema ya kwamba hawa wa, watoto wa, watu naona kwa gazeti ya leo wanalia ya kwamba patients wakienda hospitali wanaitishwa upfront cash payment mm -hmm. kabla hujafanywa chemotherapy mm -hmm. si kuonyesha ya, si kusema ya kwamba rigijia kimbichua na amaliziwe kesho mm -hmm. pesa ya shina ita, itawekwa kwa, kwa account mm -hmm. It is just a, a government decoy okay. ya kuhakikisha kwamba public attention mm. imetoka kwa makosa ya serikali imeenda kwa emotional and emotive topics okay. kama kutoa rigiji right. lakini nataka kushukuru wa Kenya mm -hmm. I want to thank Kenyans who are listening to me mm. ya kwamba nyinyi mumekuwa werevu mm. munasomea ma, ma, barua ikiwa kwa bahasha nyinyi mm mumeona na mumejua hii serikali ina survive na kitu inaitwa unfulfilled promises mm -hmm. false rules and mm -hmm. fallacies mm, tumetenga na kwa hivyo watu wanajua mm. hata hii impeachment ya rigadhe ikienda through mm. yule ambaye ataingia mm. ambaye anasemekana ni profesa kidhule kindiki mm -hmm. hakuna kitu watafanya na ataanza mashida yake the first day after swearing in mm. ata hii ataanza mashida yake you are saying, that, beca you are saying that because you are bitter mwishimi wa gadhoni ya no, mshomba no, no, no. are we going to continue impeaching people so that we can bury our heads mm. so that we do not answer questions okay. from kenyans okay. mwishimi wa gadhoni ya mshomba raiz hajatokezea kutuambia tupatia msikilizaji na fasi okay. pesa ya chemotherapy uh -huh. itatoka wapi mm. hajatuambia ni waguzi wangapi wang, wang, ni, ni, ni patients wangapi wamesa come to kamsa mm -hmm. kwa sababu ya kukosa radiotherapy mm -hmm. na kemotherapy Mm. Those are the issues that the president should be telling us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for me, yes. regardless, impeachment was, was was a decoy. Mm -hmm. Let me use another word. Mm -hmm. It was public. It was members of parliament mm -hmm. and senators lynching. Mm -hmm. They were lynching him. Okay. Now, na kulinch ni kufanya nini? Ni ku ni ku ni kumpiga mob justice. Yani muna muna mpiga kihalaiki. Mukiwa wengi. Yeah. Kwa Wengi, sababu ya like. your emotional mm. attachment to the issues that has been had. Alimfanya mm. nini Rais Dr. William Ruto? What really happened between the two? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. I don't know. For example, policies aimed at reducing unemployment, poverty, and inequality could alleviate the suffering of many Kenyans. Security and stability. Kindiki's ability to maintain security and stability is essential. A safe and stable environment is conducive to economic growth and development which can lead to improved living conditions for citizens. The government's response to threats such as terrorism, organized crime, and intercommunal violence will impact the well-being of Kenyans. Rule of law and governance. The rule of law and good governance are crucial for reducing corruption, protecting human rights, and ensuring fairness and equality. Kindiki's commitment to upholding these principles and his ability to implement measures that Promote transparency and accountability will influence the lives of Kenyans. Political environment. Kenya's political environment can impact the effectiveness of any government official. A stable and cooperative political environment facilitates the implementation of policies and reforms. Conversely, a polarized or unstable political environment can hinder progress and exacerbate... Jambo la kwanza ningetaka kusema ya kwamba naitwa Samuel mimi ni mkaaji wa hapa Sagana mahali awa deputy president Regadi Gashagua ametoka Jambo la kwanza ni kusema hivi sisi kama wakaazi ama wakaaji wa hapa Madhera hatuna furaha hata kidogo hatuna furaha hata kidogo tumehuzunishwa na mambo ambayo yamefanyikia mmoja wetu His Excellency Regadi Gashagua. Na tutataka kusema jambo hili. Wakati wa uchaguzi tuliamka asubuhi na mapema ili tuachague William Ruto, Ruto na Regadi Gashagua. Na nimesikia viongozi wa Mount Kenya wale ambao wanampinga wakisema ya kwamba tulichagua deputy, tulichagua Ruto kwa sababu tulikuwa tunampenda. Ningetaka kuwaambia hivi. 
sababu sisi kumchagua tulimchagua kwa sababu ya rigadhi gashagua yeye ndiye aliyefanya tumchague na kule kumpenda kwetu na kwa sababu yeye ni kiongozi anayesema na kutenda ni kiongozi wa haki ya ndio maana mpaka hapa tunamuitanga Ankorigiji kwa sababu sio hata tuseme yale ambao wamewafanya wabunge hatuna furaha tumehuzunishwa kabisa na ningetaka kuambia jambo moja sababu inaonekana sisi wa Kenya tukiongea inakaa hii inti iko na viongozi wale ambao wanaenda kusema yale ambao wanataka wanasahau na wale wananchi walio wachagua wanasahau na wanjiko wacha nikumkumbushe rais wetu ulituambia ya kwamba na ukatuahidi ya kwamba regadhi gashagua the deputy president elect ambayo ndiyo tunamtambua sababu honorable professor kidhura kindiki ninyi viongozi ndio muempatia kiti sisi wananchi tulipatia regadhi gashagua kiti we elected him so tunamjua ya kwamba yeye ndiye kiongozi wetu na zetu na jile jambo linataka kusema ya kwamba vile ambavyo muliketi chini huko kwa bunge na senate mkaenda kuongea mambo yenu ili vile mtakavyo mchukua yule mtu ambaye anawafeva because professor kindiki ni mtu ambaye hawezi sema la atasema ndio unataka yule kiongozi ambaye hawezi akakukosoa mbona kwa nini unahitaji mtu ambaye anaweza kakukosoa vile ambavyo ulikuwa unakosoa kijana wetu uhuru kenyata sababu ulizunguka hii inchi ukiwa unamkosoa ukiamka ukilala kwa mdomo yako ilikuwa ni uhuru mwigai kinyata mbona saa hii hautaki kusikia regadhi gashagua akikukosoa vile ambavyo ulikuwa unakosoa uhuru kinyata mbona mnatuambia 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 regadhi gashagua si na ati ya kwamba anaegemea upande mmoja ndio ni sawa anaegemea upande wa mount kenya hiyo mount kenya ndio ilikupatia kura 47% ambazo ni kula milioni tatu na kitu kuelekea kwa zile ambazo ulipata 7.2 kwa hivyo tunaomba tunaomba na sisi tumefunzwa tumefunzwa na regadhi gashagua kwa time frame assessing the impact of kindiki's tenure also requires consideration of the time frame involved significant changes often take time to materialize and it may take several years or even decades to fully evaluate the impact of his policies it is important to note that kindiki is one of many government officials and that his ability to effect change will depend on cooperation and support from others within the government and society the collective efforts of all stakeholders will ultimately shape the outcome we have come to an end of this video please subscribe to our channel like this video and turn on notifications Leave a comment will Kindiki improve Kenya Kwanza administration thank you so much for watching let's meet in our next video good luck